in this module we'll move our discussion from discourse to ideology and from ideology to power focus is a french philosopher interestingly he has talked about different fields of knowledge he was interested in anthropology in sociology in history in feminism even and that's why he has quite uh, relevant ideas about this subject that has somehow some origin in feminism so that's why foucault is very much relevant here and in coming discussions when we will talk about uh, gender discourse and discourses so his ideas would be very much relevant for our understanding so he says that discourse is ideology there is no difference between the two they are two sides of the same coin but for some scholars the discourse that shows power that is called ideology every discourse is not ideology they differentiate it as they say when there is some power struggle there is some tug of war for power then a discourse becomes ideological every student for example every student teacher talk is not discourse according to this point of view it would become discourse when we look upon it with reference to power difference between student and teacher and how we how we know that power difference from their roles so when teacher has upper hand and student is dependent on the teacher there is power difference then this talk would become a discourse because here the element of power is involved with talk but this conversion of discourse to ideology Foucault's idea was that discourse is ideology and now after this recent addition that every discourse is not ideology so how discourse converts into ideology we have to know that for this purpose we have to further explore uh, how it happens that a discourse turns into ideology because it is not always evident from talk as we uh, talked about student teacher conversation there it was obvious it was clear but there are cases when discourse is turned into ideology with addition of power element and we can't feel it we can't see it explicitly it happens invisibly how this happens let's talk about this suppose men talk about their inability to deal with kitchen work they think that we are incompetent for cooking and for other kitchen activities and uh, they uh, do so for example just in a lighter mood just in uh, jokes and uh, these jokes spread around through media through writing etc so what happens gradually this light talk will become an established opinion people would take it as something natural that doesn't require any explanation why female are fit for kitchen work and why not men it started just from joke but over the period of time the jokes were spread in everyday conversation and when they went to everyday conversation they were taken as something established affect and leads to positioning men inside kitchen as outside kitchen and women inside the conclusion is that uh, first of all there is some talk that is just a talk this talk spreads for example in this case the talk started from jokes first it changed the situation at home later on 
it goes outside the boundary of home for example it went to office some place work and if there too we have some for example a secretary or any assistant who is a female so as we now think that women are much better in cooking in preparing tea and other things for men this is automatically understood that your secretary must know how to make a good and fine tea for the officer also noticed the same attitude the same thinking when men do kitchen work when somehow they are forced to do this activity in kitchen what happens because of the influence of this stock that has become a discourse people think that the person is doing what is not expected of him he is given more support and whereas if the same work is being done by women we we think that this is part of their routine job they don't know any kind of support even when they genuinely need it even then men don't help them in kitchen work this is the influence and here power is involved